And then this is gonna be insane. So this is the play. We chump block this, we're playing around like bonus attack. So he doesn't just win on the spot. And we usually win unless he double unless he roll he has one card in hand. So unless it's a rocket, or he rolls double threes. We have 24 damage right now. And that's it! I mean, he needs the California roll to even stay alive here! No! Guaranteed Leaf will get rocked! What's going on everybody? It's surprise. So today we're bringing back the classic challenge. We gotta pick just a few cards to use as the base of a deck and we are gonna be pressing finish for me and the terrible absolutely awful AI is going to build us a random deck uh, and it's going to be really really bad. We're going to see uh, if out of eight games we can actually still win most of them. Let's sort of say five out of eight is going to be the challenge today uh, and we are just in the at the mercy of the RNG gods. I picked Chompzilla because he has the geyser superpower which is another heal synergy. I think just little buddy Pepper MD uh, Pepper MD will grow every single time you heal, and then catch a mechanic is the base of any strong deck. Really, just with these cards, you can carry as long as we have otherwise relatively strong cards. Maybe like a finisher, like Plan Food, would be really, really good since it's Chumzilla. Maybe Cob Cannon, just some other <laughs> slightly good cards would be really, really nice. Here we go. Finish for me. Come on. And. And. Uh. <laughs> okay, all right, so the good news, the good news is we got Elosaurus, and I'd say the better news is that we actually got a finisher. We didn't get plant food, but we got the next best thing, which is Sunstrike. This is actually going to make your guys have strike through. Now, the bad news is Muscle Sprout. Okay, we're running a little buddy in the deck. We have a little, a little synergy there. I have a couple of ones, so maybe Muscle Sprout we could get going. It's a power card. Now, Double Min is not a good card at all, but maybe we'll get lucky and this can grow and then use the Strike Through. The card that is absolute trash, awful garbage in this deck is the Cute. The Tactical Cute is so bad in a deck where you're trying to build momentum. This is almost completely unusable. Maybe we'll be able to like build a Strong Lane 1, put a Pepper MD and stuff. And then Cute will like save us by, you know, deleting what they have in other lanes. This is not a good card. I'd say even like the little bit of ramp, it's okay, and uh, eh. you know what, Sweet Potato can also be used as a finisher, because if they put something in front of your big old Pepper MD, you can actually use the Sweet Potato in order to drag things uh, away <laughs> into a <laughs> Listen guys, we gotta work with what we have here. Should I make it 5 out of 8 or 4 out of 8? Eh, let's just make it 5 out of 8. I think this deck, I think this deck could be good. I mean, it's not good, but I think we could probably win some games with it. Anyway, guys, here is the heal finish for me deck. I'll just get this right up on the screen, and we are going to get right into the stream. Here we are. All right. Uh, so we'll do best of five out of eight. So if you think this deck, this really... <laughs> Can somehow, some way, win the majority of the games today. Five out of eight. Vote yes. Four out of eight. If we break even, I'll consider that an astounding success. But the, the but the, but the, but then the answer is going to be no. Then vote no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash frymuff, where we have a gambling addiction. Here we go. We're always going to get rid of Cuke. Little buddy's good, but we got to get that pepper empty. Oh no. All right, maybe we'll get lucky and double mint will actually be viable. Uh, catch mechanic anyway is a very good card against infinity, so we'll I'm see what here happens here. Complete here. garbage trash. It is complete trash. You you've come to the right place. Now, unfortunately, this is such a bad play, but unfortunately, we have absolutely no way of really answering it. So, at least he played it on heights, you know. The good news is he might just spam minions here, and the double mint will probably be good to go. Guys, you can also just like. Use double mint. I don't know. Um, I, I sort of want to like put some pressure on these. Oh, we're in such bad shape already. All right, so let's put this here, and we'll protect it. Well, <laughs> well, well. All right, we'll do this and protect it with little buddy. And who knows, maybe if we can just grow the double mint here, we can end up cuking him and that will save us later. 
Uh, the catch mechanic will trade with this 4 3 next turn. I'll use it. I'm committing to using another little buddy here next turn in order to protect the double man. Well, double man will have four health, so he has to play two minions, but they'll do four damage. This actually isn't a bad play. Oh, yeah, but it goes up to four attack. Yeah, I forgot. It's a dancing. Yeah, so we definitely have to use little buddy. So it's the catch a mechanic little buddy. We'll have a 3 3 here. And that's. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, he used two. Uh, we should be pretty good like this. Uh, this becomes a 4 4. It actually takes this lane out, but then. Uh, you know, having a 4 4 live is pretty good here. This is the stronger minion, though. We can always kill this with 2 plus 1. We can kill this, though, too. I think we're gonna just play it safe here. And I will play the little buddy. Now, he's probably gonna play, like, a bungee on the little buddy here, but that's okay. Just to kill the, the doubled mint. But if we can get away with this double mint living here, like, if he just has strength in his hand or, or deadly, we're gonna actually be in good shape with, like, a 4-8 on the board. Yes! That's the best case scenario that Deadly doesn't do anything. This lane dies anyway. This lane didn't help at all. And he's got a zero attack Deadly guy on the board. I think we're good to go in this. We have a 4-8. It's completely out of fruitcake range and he already uses Deadly superpower. Oh, here we go. He starts playing in ground. I'm just going to double this up here. Got a little bit of ramp going. Uh, no, but he doesn't have the one cost deadly super, but why would he use that there, man? That, that's kind of insane. So, he's gonna just do nothing here. We No one cares! And we'll be able to get, like, 8 damage strike through next turn. That's ridiculous, actually. He's bunging that one, okay. That's just another card out of his hand, though. Another resource. Uh, yeah, we'll draw cards. Sure. Definitely take those. Hoo -hoo -hoo. We got some heals going on, and we do have the cuke, like, next turn. Oh, look at this Allosaurus making us not die. It'll also heal the, uh, the mint and keep its health way the heck up. Allo ain't bad here. Ain't bad at all. Um, I guess if he plays, like, at least two minions, I'll probably just go for... Catch a mechanic uh, after Pe Pepper MD, obviously, first, then catch mechanic, and set up a really strong uh, strike through play for next turn. Yeah, hopefully, he's not running Pogo. Can you play like another minion? I think this is what we're doing, guys. Hell yeah. So, look at all the value we're getting here. Crazy. And the Allosaurus will just make this even bigger. It doesn't seem like he really, even like a fruitcake is not going to be able to kill this unless it gets three attack from this egg. Okay, for real? Oh my gosh, if he actually answers this with fruitcake now, this is stupid. No, 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 no. No, 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 Oh, this is deadly. Oh, shoot, I forgot to not put this one in front of the deadly minion in case he has a buff. I should have kept the pet. That Pepper MD obviously grows, so it's better than this 4 4. Ah, it's okay. This guy's out of cards. We're fine. Uh, I'll probably just Sunstrike here. He's, he doesn't know. He's just gonna, yeah, commit. I mean, it's gotta be Pogo for us not to just win on the spot here, right? And if it is Pogo, he kind of loses anyway. Eh, let's just go for the win. What's in the box? Oh! <laughs> That'll come in handy. Oh no! Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh no no no! It's it's only ten. It's only ten. Oh my gosh! That could have killed. He's so close. This is doing ten damage, bro. But I'm doing twenty. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> yes! <laughs> what a top deck by him. So close. Yes, so far. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Someone's joining the stream right now and asking, how come I'm running Cuke instead of Cop Cannon in this deck? <laughs> Someone explain, I can't explain it again. It's just kind of funny. It's a finish for me deck, I didn't select the, the Cuke. I would never run that in this deck. Yeah, if that Cuke honestly had just been a Cop Cannon, this would be an awfully good deck. It has two team-ups in it, this would be a really solid 
deck if that just that one change i mean it's literally taking like the worst card possible in this deck and then replacing it with arguably the best card in the game man i'm almost beginning to think cob cannons are better than triceratops it's just insane value putting a huge minion on the board and answering anything even untrickable minions man i don't know it's it's definitely up there in contention uh let's see if we can get like a little heal i can't keep three pepper in oh 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 here we go guys <laughs> set a highlight again it's just a solid first game um See, I feel like playing this on two, I think, and then doing both the Pepper MDs. We really can't force the Pepper MDs until he damages us anyway. So let's just slow play this hand. Again, playing a ramp card into really nothing. Like, we have nothing to play the next turn to utilize the extra sun. In this kind of deck, just pass, you know? Especially because Brainstorm has, like, backup dancers and summoning and things that... Trade well against the 2 1. Here's this dude. See, we actually want this hitting our face right now. He would have to have exactly Bungie to answer this. This will be pretty good. I, I really do want him hitting my face. So we're just going to play this in one and hope he doesn't have the Bungie Plumber. Obviously, he doesn't have summoning. Yeah, he has that too. Wah, wah. It's okay, we don't really need that. We're gonna have a lot of a lot of four fours on <laughs> Oh my gosh, another one. Uh, another one. Wow, see here's a stomping on, a pretty strong card. I'm gonna actually front this because I would like to take more damage next turn, so I'm gonna play two pepper MDs. I wanna set up the third pepper MD and the second little buddy uh coming up here. Um, is this little buddy protecting the Pepper MD as being a 4-4 four, four instead of a 4-2? Is that worth it? I would say, yeah, that's really good value from that. Little buddy, little buddy. <laughs> Think of this as a zero-cost escape through time. That's kind of like what the, the Discord guys, when they start running this, that was their logic. And I think it makes a lot of sense. It just protected this from taking damage. Plus, it, it healed. That's crazy. For zero. That's some value right there. Obviously, it's not always the same. It doesn't protect it from tricks, just from minions, but whatever. Thank you, Sadistic Salad! I guess Escape Through Time also only protects from minions and not from tricks, because it's played during the zombie trick phase. Think about it. Sadistic Salad for nine months. How you doing? Alright, so we got, we got some stuff going on. I'll take the damage again, because why not? So I'm just going to set this up here. And we are just gonna go squish. Uh, this will be the one where we'll get the most value from the little bunny. And yeah, no real point in setting up a ramp. I'll like use Chomp plus this next turn. We might, we'll probably be able to get better than a two-two. Look how these monsters that we have set up on the board. He could have like a final mission or a fruit cake here, but it's okay. We got, we got the value. Fry your streams rock. Oh, thank you. You guys are so nice. <sighs> How do you feel whenever someone says they grew up watching your content? It touches my heart. There's all these people who were not even in high school and they started watching my YouTube. Oh, he has Chop from Quasar? That's literally the best card he could have got from Quasar. Oh, no. That's rough. Where did our whole board go? Blocks? No blocks either. What the hell? Oh, I messed up this Chomzilla Super. Oh, there's a lot of things that went wrong there. No. Bro. This is cool because we can actually play around with the lanes a little bit better. Um, yeah, I don't really have a good chomp. This gets blocked anyway. Do I just sack this 4-2 here? It's a little less room. 3 and 4 is playable next turn, so maybe I'll go 3-1. 
Let's just go like this, I guess. And not chomp. We could maybe chomp this next turn. But that goes up to 4-3, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, there's people who, like, were not even in high school when they started watching my YouTube, and now they're in college, because I've been doing this for seven years, which, for me, it was the difference between, between being, like, 28 years old and 35, what I am right now, but, like, for people to go from, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? From 13, and now, seven years later, they're 20 is, is ridiculous. Really, really. Uh, we will not do that. This might actually combine to, if he puts a one health minion... We actually kill it with this, and then we get a better chomp, so... Let's definitely hold on to that. If he plays no minions, then we kill this for free. That is so freaking good. Look at this value, guys. Uh, we're actually gonna set up now, we'll have three really nice... ...threats on the board. Uh, we'll let the the one damage, and the one procs the block, and when we don't want to get summoning into, we'll put that in lane two. A lot of reasons to put double mint there early. And we'll see what this guy's got. This 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 uh muscle sprout is actually for a three cost card being a threat. This is a card I would actually really like to figure out how to get value out of it. And I feel like maybe building a deck around muscle sprout is not the way. You just kind of put it in a deck where anyway would be good. I don't really know yet. Did he get two stompadons? I'm you're right. Where did these two stompadons come from? I didn't even think about that. He must have gotten both of them from Eureka. That's crazy. The Conjures. And he got chopped from Quasar. We haven't seen the next superpower yet. That's pretty nuts. You're right, I didn't even realize that. Here's this. Oh, no, 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 not Falk. It's exactly 13 because of the Stompin' On. We were actually doing pretty well that game. Uh, so we're one and one. Damn. Damn. That guy got so freaking lucky. I mean, it was a bad deck. For... Yeah, we're not really gonna beat that one. <laughs> with this deck, man. Damn. Alright. Thanks for being so nice, guys. What the dog doing? I don't know. That's an awfully good hand. We're gonna keep that. Hopefully the opponent plays fast. Cheese cutter on one is the most common play. We'd love not to see that. Uh, I think I'm gonna just save this for later, though. There's not a whole lot we need to develop right now, and playing this with the Allosaurus can make... It can get a lot of value. There's pa 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 ra pa 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 ra da 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 I don't know why. I'm singing Luva Cucaracha. <laughs> Don't really know why. Now, there is alien news. Possibly this turn. Should I draw out, like, whatever alien news he has by playing this? Is this crazy to not develop Pepper and Dia? Opponent did not have, like, well, a one cost. Superpower? Who cares? Hold on one second. I should probably put that in the fail comp, huh? I feel like this gets rocketed right now. Let's do it like this. God damn it. Why would you lunge box this? Oh, it's a 3-4. Okay, that makes sense. I guess it makes sense.
Okay, now what? Sorry. Um, how do we do this? I don't know. I haven't really seen a superpower yet. Am I crazy that I'm holding all this crap? It's probably just gonna rocket it, but whatever. I'm playing around Acid Rain or Nibble. Bruh. 7-7, seven, seven, we have no answer to that. Oh, we blocked though. Uh, this is a pretty good Scorch. We're definitely not gonna be able to play it next turn. But we have no answer to this card, man. Maybe I'll do this for the double pepper MD. Nice. Uh, dog is very not scary, so I'm gonna do pepper MD. And set up this just to chump lock. And this sets up Allosaurus card draw next turn, and he does do two damage, which is good. Do. He just grew this? Okay. Wait, what did he do? I wasn't paying attention. He did like nothing. Um, obviously killing this should be our top priority, right? I mean, how much does this play do though? Think about it. This is gonna be healing one, two, three, four times. So, this will grow by 8, so this will be 12, and then this is going to be insane, so this is the play. We chump block this, we're playing around like bonus attack, so he doesn't just win on the spot. And we usually win unless he double, unless he rolls, he has one card in hand. So unless it's a rocket, or he rolls double threes, we have 24 damage right now. And that's it! I mean, he needs the California roll to even stay alive here. No, guarantee Leaf will get wrecked. <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Oh, man. What a string this is turning out to be. Best finish for me deck ever. Let's go. Anyway, I just wrote a note to my editor to cover the deck during the highlight intro so it doesn't spoil it. <laughs> Best fin finish for me deck of all time, despite having Cuke in it. This ain't a bad turn three play. I think we just keep this hand. I could dig <laughs> for a Pepper MD. The double mint doesn't really do a whole lot. It, I guess it sort of answers, like, aerobics. He plays aerobics like a double mint. All right. And this is a fi eh, fine hand. We actually answer aerobics with this on turn three. So that's awesome. I'm not going to draw into this. <laughs> uh Oh, we just got Pepper MD too, man. That's that's kind of ridiculous. I'll probably just set it up here. Uh, I like how the con man is keeping the damage going. We definitely want to kill this before it gets out of hand, so... That's a really, really good Pepper MD. And again, one minion makes Catch a Mechanic a good play next turn. Otherwise, he still has to do four damage, man. It'll absorb a free kick. This is fine. This is very fine. If he plays a... If he doesn't play a minion, he plays a Gravestone, I could probably just, like... I can probably just play Muscle Sprout. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, Cuke isn't... If we end up playing a Cuke one... Even just playing it, like, it's usually going to be worse to play it than anything else. 
Um, what about this play? He didn't play a grave set. I think this is fine. Because it makes a good trade at the end of the day. It makes catching mechanic worse. We probably want to take damage. Alright, let's play it here. Just in case he has, I don't know, lunchbox or nibble. He bungee set. Hey, what was that donation? Uh, yep. Yeah. Cobb Cannon would be good with the two team ups we have for real. Here's a team up. Did he fruit cake that? Yeah. That's okay. Oh, got one right back. What is this gonna be now? A Jester? Loudmouth? Are there any four cost gravestones that he runs? Not really. Beastly four cost gravestones? How about crazy four cost gravestones? It could be like Abracadabra or something stupid like that. I'm not gonna play around that. Probably doesn't have another bungee. Should I play around Loudmouth? If I play around Loudmouth, this is the play. We'll have this next turn. I just like to develop the Muscle Sprout sooner than later, but I think this is the play. Let's see if it's Abracadabra. Nope, it's Jester, so we made the right choice. And again, one cost cards. So let's see what he's got. Backup Dancer, who cares, man? So that's just giving us block meter charge, and it just makes catch a mechanic a thousand times better. <laughs> it's so good. I love how the double mint now, even though it's on heights, alien news, but he's probably not running that. He's running fruitcake. Uh, it just has like a bodyguard in front of it, which is awesome. And we are coming into <laughs> coming into the territory. Uh, should I even kill the jester? I feel like for him finishing eventually with a. Um, it, it, this does 5 damage. Him finishing with, like, a Flamenco is one of the very few ways, if he has any way of even winning right now, it's one of the very few ways of him winning this game. I mean, we're back up to 16 full block meter. We've got just three monsters on the board. He's got nothing. He'll end up at the end of this turn with a 1-1. One, one. That is happening next turn. Believe you me, that's happening next turn. We're going to hit three things with this geyser. This Pepper MD is going to be, be way beyond fruitcake. We're talking way beyond... Hell yeah, this muscle sprout kind of died. Oh, no, it didn't die. Oh, ho, ho, ho. In fact, it's probably just geyser. And, and, <laughs> yeah. The play's geyser straight through, guys. This thing would have been so easy. This thing would have grown up to 10. So we would have had 14, 19 damage. It would have almost been lethal. Actually, with the little buddy. Yeah, with the little buddy, would have been 21. So we, we had that guy. All right, here we go. I mean, this is the power of heals. This is something which, again, until my friend uh, Saman, my friend who helped me prepare the tournament, he just discovered how to actually use heal decks. And the key is to always be going Pepper MD Little Buddy and not getting too greedy. Just get that first buff, and then you can do heals, and then you can do Allosauruses. It sounds simple now, but it's something we took us years and years to figure out. I mean, heal decks have been top, top tier. Uh, no matter what you put after it, Allosaurus or Strike Through or Cobb Cannon or whatever you want, man. Solar Class, man. That's where it's at. I'll get rid of the finisher here. It's a pretty darn good hand, though. Especially if he plays, you know, a non hunt minion on turn two. We'll have a chance to set up the uh, doubled mint. We don't really have Lil Buddy. I think I'm just going to spend this. It'll give us better hands here. It's okay. We'll see if he plays Simo on two. Obviously, if he plays a gravestone here, we hard pass. We got the uh, the pepper MD man. Ridiculous. We hard pass still into Suma. Um, now he could have Smash Super, but you know we we'll live and die with that. We'll play around Galvanize by it, by it playing this on heights and playing this in front of it. But that's the best we can do. Can't have him drawing cards from Cheese Cutter, man. That's just. Not an option. I, I could have maybe just played, you know, I could have just played uh, the, the, this card, the Sweet Potato. I didn't even consider that. I probably should have considered that. Bringing it to the ground, which means when we front it, we can't get Alien News the next turn. We can't, you know, Smash Super would be hitting this one drop instead of the main engine of our deck. Well, I should have thought of that a little bit more. Um, so we'll either have Doubled Mint... That could end up being a, uh, a sumo. It's interesting he didn't play the cheese cutter he just scooped. What is this going to be? It's probably just a sumo, right? If it's sumo, I have to pass. Loudmouth? Landscaper? 
Honestly, I think this is a correct play because he's going to... He'll, he'll be taking the little buddy in, taking this instead of the little buddy is fine. I think this is okay, and it, it could just end up being a landscaper. I guess this kind of dies to landscaper too, though, huh? I'd rather him not, like, lands... I don't know. I don't really know. So double mint's gonna get fed to lane 3. They can argue all day if this was a good play or a bad play. It just saves a little, buddy, which means the pepper MD is more intact. There's no need to do that. We're at 18 health. We'll, we'll definitely have a better geyser later. Let's see what happens. It'll we'll probably just be catch a mechanic. If we use the geyser, it means catch a mechanic can't even, like, yellow pepper MD here. This should be okay. Let's see what he's got. There's the cheese cutter. So I'm thinking, like, just catch up. Wow. And, and we preserve the 5-5. Five this is actually ridiculous. Look how good a team-up minion is here. It's like a one-cost little buddy. But this grows to 6-6, six, six, and now we kill this and we preserve. He keeps a 5-5 five, five on the board. He's not going to have an answer to this. <laughs> he galvanizes there, that's fine. He galvanizes this card, it's okay. Honestly, we're taking 7 damage. It's laughable because we have 4 heals in our hand, we have monsters, we have allosaurus, we have all that stuff here. So... I think we are good to go. I mean, he's just down to one card now. Let's just set this up. Uh, obviously, it doesn't trade fabulously here. In case he has any kind of buff, we, we don't want the Allosaurus dying. The Allosaurus will heal up plenty. He'll let us for five, then we'll heal one. We'll, we'll, we'll Geyser, Sunstrike next turn, and we're, we're going to be... We're going to win with Sunstrike. Guys, look how big the Pepper MD is going to be. The Pepper MD right now, it's going to grow four times and then geyser will heal it like another four times and then the sun strike will heal it. <laughs> just... guys you ready for this you ready for this this is this has gotta be this is gonna be like 50 damage guys watch uh i have to not geyser first because well uh, everything's only missing one health uh, that's okay We'll sun strike first, just in case we get something good. Oh no, he's got a two cost five four. Mommy, what am I gonna do? <laughs> la 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 la. Here, you want a bath? You stink. Take a take a shower. <laughs> Twenty four damage. Not a bad day in the office. <laughs> and just like that, guarantee lethal, guys. Man, this has got to be the best finish for me deck we've ever done. Come on, man. Hell yeah. Hell yes. Will I ever revive the Deep Fry channel? I don't I don't have any plans in the near future. I don't want to deal with annoying people whining and getting offended for me being logical. It's just not the life I want to live. Honestly, that's just what it comes down to. That's like my philosophy channel I made a while ago. I could probably be really good at that. I could probably get way more subscribers doing that than anything else just like explaining complicated subjects logically but philosophy I don't, I don't feel like it i'm just a gamer <laughs> it's all it comes down to one two this ain't bad this ain't bad let's keep it there is something here about the the three health protecting one of these minions we can end up getting some pretty good trades. So let's start off with that. Let's see if he has Infinity Clones. Or Bungie. Hopefully not. There's the clones. Could you miss this, please? I'd really like the ramp. The, even it just trades, like, just with the Amphibious minion here. That was good. It's probably double mint, and then we'll drag this here and get a free trade. Um, so we're gonna drag this one, which is nice, and we get a free doubled mint. So that's cool. We'd rather be taking, obviously, the, the bullseye damage. We have some heals. We have some answers in our hand. We're doing pretty well here. It's better use the little buddy next turn and surprise him. So he doesn't know about the trade going our, our way. There's some bullseye. There's not a block. I'd like to block and get some heals or something here. 
It's okay. Again, he, we probably will keep the 2-1 alive here if he's just spamming minions, unless he has a flame face. That would be really annoying. You and me together can revive the deep fry. Uh, yeah, if I would do podcasts, doing it with Lazarus would be fun, because he's like a really logical, reasonable, like, Christian, like, devout Christian religious person, which would be, you know, obviously very different than my point of view, and that would be really cool to do podcasts. I don't know, man. Maybe someday. Honestly, I don't think the world's ready for what I have to say. <laughs> comes down to, what do I do here? I, I think we always chomp this. Should I use the... I'm gonna, like, play around Smoke Bomb and do this play. Uh, worst case scenario, this has a free bodyguard for later. And all free healing. Allosaurus, you know, if we can get our ramp to live here, obviously the doubled mints is the trouble. Um, Allosaurus is playable this turn, so that's really good. I am going to... I'm going to do this. It prevents damage this turn, kills a guy, and most importantly, it sets up the Allosaurus in a lane where it does not going to die to, you know, some deadly superpower. Well, he doesn't have... Do you have deadly? You could have deadly. Uh, we really want it to be in an open lane. Four damage to face. That's, that's a lot of value from that scorch. Howdy, Fry. Howdy do. Thank you, Saber Bomb. Again, we have this dead cuke in our hand, but... He could have deadly super, but I get at least the LSC. Yeah, at this point, at least the Allosaurus lives. If we didn't scorch last turn, this would be dead toast. The good news is, is that this flame face dies, and that's going to be a really big source of damage. If he puts a bunch of pirates... On the board right now, I'll actually just cube this. Probably not, but the Allosaurus is keeping us alive. I think just five and one is gonna be the play. Awesome. Really good. Who is that Saber Bomb for 64 months, man? One of the OG viewers. There's Smoke Bomb, so he'll kill one of the Allosaurus with a deadly, but again, th this is guy, he's just holding on for dear life. The Allosaurus is gonna be healing itself and our face. It's just gonna make it so hard. So right now he either has strength. What's his last power? Is it encrypt? He's infinity clones and deadly. He has strength. It's encrypt, right? Yeah. Wait, it doesn't. I'm so confused. Why do I not know what the superpowers are? Dude! <laughs> I don't know why I always mix up infinity and Neptuna. Infinity superpowers. It's clones, deadly, he has encrypt and strength. So who has so super brains Neptuna? I don't know. I thought Neptuna and Super Brains have encrypt, but I'm clearly dumb. How have I been playing this game for seven years and I still mix this up? Where is my head? Neptuna does not Neptuna has encrypt, so what does super brains have? Super Brains has Deadly, he has Super, his Ultimate, he has Chop, and he has Card Draw. He doesn't have Encrypt. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm still thought that Super Brains had Encrypt. I don't know why. Don't ask me. Because it draws a card, and he has two superpowers that draw cards. Pride, please cute yourself. <laughs> no. So it was either Encryptor Strength, it doesn't matter. We won. Freaking easy. We're at five already! The answer is yes already! Gee, sus. Uh, should I hold on to this in case he passes turn one? And... Nah. Yes, that's an answer. Cheese Cutter? Hell yeah! Love to see you. Two answers. Here this, here this. Should I let him damage me? Because I'm an evil pig? Yeah, I'm letting him do it. <laughs> Should I play this card? Should I play this card? I think I will. Yes! So the bad the answer is yes already. Take it push you. Wow, uh only 42% of people voted yes today. For the finish for me. <laughs> At least you guys got to see what the deck was. For the finish for me, Cuke deck, guys. Heal Cuke hybrid. 
<laughs> Damn, let's go. Let's go for that seven and one. That is fine. Yeah, that is fine. La la la. And that is fine. That is fine. Where should this go? I guess here, right? Here? 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 Oh, hell yeah. Was that the turn I was supposed to develop doubled mint? Maybe. Wee. He thinks he's doing stuff. Little does he know? He's not doing stuff. It can actually go double doubled mint here if he doesn't play a second minion. He's gonna play a second minion. You guys know he is. If he passes, I'm spamming two double mints. I don't care. <laughs> I want to have fries with you, Fryama. All right, we're doing it. He can't play chicken again. I don't care. Don't gotta play around anything. Oh no, I can't catch a mechanic anymore. Whoops. Well, he'll remove something this turn. He's not passing turn three and not gonna play anything. He'll at least have an area 22, something to buff the con man. In which case, it just gets chomped next turn after we... Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Best case scenario, we end up with two double vents on the board. Maybe I'll just fruitcake the pepper MD. Doesn't really matter what he does here. Is there anything that's scary? There's a bungee. What else do you got, bro? He killed both of them. So it just absorbed two cards out of this guy's already useless hand. Hell yeah. So it's catch a mechanic first, then chomp. Whatever. Or this. Actually, we can play all three. It's pretty awesome. Wow. Thank you, Ketchup Mechanic. Thank you very much. I think I'll save the Chomp in case he's running some kind of late game card. So that's awesome. And we'll play this just to trade and get a better Chomp later. If you get rid of the two health minion, this card just gets better. So we're at 15 health. This man is running out of options. He's going lane four probably, right? <laughs> He's trying to go face. It, it really show gives us a lot of confidence in this game that he is so desperate. He actually missed the backup dancers. That was the worst case scenario backup dancers. He doesn't think he killed the two one. He, he's relying on this con man this bad. I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, it is just getting worse. It is just getting so much worse here. The uh, chomp would hit up with save at 2 on. The chomp will be better later. The man is desperate, folks. Frenzy there. Why is he obsessed with keeping this con? Yeah, the con man still like loses the trade next turn. I don't know. I guess that was probably the best lane. Maybe this lane would have been better so he can actually go face. But yeah, this Allosaurus kind of just wins us the game. Ah, <laughs> look, we actually can kill this con man for free. Look how good this card is. Hmm, in a meta where Area 22 is prevalent. First of all, <laughs> we'll probably just go face with this one instead. Give this man a chop. Alright, so we could pull this 3-1 out and just kill it for free. <laughs> but, <laughs> honestly, I'm just doing this play. Let's just beat this guy. Let's just kill this man. This is pretty good. I don't know, even know what I'm playing around. I'm playing around him getting chopped from Quasar, literally. It's his only out here. Uh, he doesn't block the 12 damage? Okay. <laughs> he kind of knows he's dead anyway. Wow, he got super brain super for real? Okay, he had two outs, never mind. Damn, he actually kills this now? I mean, we're still dominating him. He's in a top deck situation the rest of the game now. That was... that was a pretty good play. Jeez. So he plays whatever he drew here. And we just play this here to stop the damage from pouring in. That man survived? If he comes back and wins this game, man... Because he got Super Brain Super from Quasar? Come on. Yes! It just buffs these into lethal amounts of lethalness. Let's see if he gets... Well, he has to play here. If it's a Gravestone, obviously, this doesn't heal us. So we'll save it if it's a Gravestone. He probably just got some trick that doesn't do anything. 
and he just threw his phone into a lake. Let's just call the six and one guys. No, he got barrel. Jesus. Okay. Um, to to yeah. I mean, we do play this because we definitely want the uh, the pepper and this pepper MD to go face for four here. So that's awesome. That's a pretty good top deck for him though. What was he thinking about for solo? So this goes face for four. Hopefully, it doesn't roll three. <laughs> he can actually get evaporate. Who knows what this guy's gonna get? Now we're not gonna cuke. It's definitely not happening. Uh, all right, block evaporate still there. Block and anything actually safe in the block. All right, we're six and one. Let's go. Best finish for me deck of all time, guys. <laughs> it's amazing. Whoa. Is Imgur not working? Upload it to Discord and send it through the... You have to send it through the fries, though. I only check decks through fries. I mean, this is cool. Should I get rid of Sunstrike? Because it's too early in the game for it. It's such a good hand. <laughs> Ridiculously good hand. Do I even play this on one? Okay, dude. Uh, we're gonna play this on the ground. Heights lane is reserved for Pepper MD because of Laser Base Alpha. It's the main difference between Heights and not Heights for Huge Giganticus. Even if he is running a Moonwalker, this is still better. Pass turn two. I'll, I'll set this up. There's no reason not to. Should we draw cards first? Yeah, why not? Ooh, another pepper empty. Let's go. Should I be greedy? No, no. No greed. Let's get this game finished. Come on. I love this imposter. This imposter is helping us more instead of helping him because it gives us an opportunity to heal every turn. If we're at 20 health, we can't heal. I take full credit for this deck's success. <laughs> Why? Sandwich said it before the stream, you missed it, that if you write the word heal in the title, it'll give you heal cards. It only gave us one heal card, which is Allosaurus. I don't think it's true. If that were true, we would have a lot of more heal cards than that. I'm calling BS. Uh, greed play? Yeah, let's do it. Even if he has another beam me up, still one for one, and we're hitting his face for four. Beam me up's there. Plus what, though? No strike through? Wow, why did he not beam me up against the 3 2? Are you high? What is he doing? He could have killed this. This is gonna be out of control now. For real. Now what? He's gonna put a big card there? I'll just buff this again. It's the easiest card in the world to buff. What is the man doing? I think it's just catch up. It's a 4 4. We, uh, we very often block here too, which could end up solving a trade that goes wrong here. No chop, obviously, from him. We're in really good shape. He leaps this one, hoping for some kind of <laughs> science card, which he doesn't get. We're in... Okay, he, he, most of his superpowers are science, so... HG is, Teleportation Station definitely is. And then I think Ice Moon is not. He got three attack. Damn. Can we get Scorch, please? Oh, hell yeah! Denies him the teleport. Th this goes four damage to face. Keeps a muscle sprout on the board. Keeps this full health. Greatest Scorch ever. Come on, guys. Yeah, this Sunstrike is just gonna win here. Come on. Come on! <laughs> we could be M. We could be M, guys. It's Doi B M. I actually kept these cukes in the deck this whole time. Doesn't matter. We didn't need him. We didn't need Cobb Can. That's right. Get out! Alright, guys. 
probably the greatest finish for me deck ever. We dominated, absolutely kicked Tushy and took some names. Yes. I will see you guys in the next one. That was amazing. Of course, that's going on YouTube. Peace. This is Fry.